Game number three, or sorry, game number one in this <laughs> best of three series, rather. Not game number three yet. You haven't missed an entire match. We find ourselves once more on Oceanborn. Spotting right here in the top left hand corner, it's Firefly. The Amu's favorite. I'm not biased whatsoever. It's fine. But in the bottom <laughs> right, in the blue, trying to get a little bit, actually, try to follow his teammate now. I got to get my storyline straight for Mystery Gaming. It's coffee. What's pretty cool about the Asian region too, in my mind, is that a lot of the players we're casting here today are all actually still in their early 20s. For quite a while, I feel like we were casting quite frequently the same players over and over and over again. But in a way, we have like a, a new wave of pro gamers here, which is, uh, I think, pretty cool. It really is. Like, StarCraft's been around for, what is it, 14 years now? Um, yes, the, we're old. Math. I know we're getting old, B.O. Ah, oh, man. No, Loco, I, I think I told you at one point, it's pretty fun. I, I remember like being in high school, sitting in the back of the chemistry lab with my laptop open, notionally doing work, but really yeah. watching a stream back when you, you know, back like 10 years ago or something, back when I was first starting to get into, into StarCraft. And now I'm still sitting in the back of chemistry lab. Uh, actually, no, I guess it's the robotics <laughs> lab now. In the back of the lab watching a stream, um, except now you have cats. Sick. And that makes it <laughs> makes it much better. I had to move one of the cats earlier. I feel like I committed a grave sin because I figured for the broadcast, having a cat in the background is a little bit dangerous. So I did the worst thing any cat owner can do. I picked up my sleepy cat and I moved it to another chair outside of the room. Still feeling a little bit guilty for it. Aww. but It could have been uh, great content. It could have also just been a little bit of purring in the microphone or it could have broken my entire system. So I figured <laughs> just to make sure that option three would not occur, I'll, I'll move it. But Loco, are you are you not familiar with the kitty rule? <laughs> what is the kitty rule this time around? There's many kitty rules. <laughs> well, in my household, well, I don't have a cat right now. My apartment has is a no pet policy. Very sad. Oh. But, but, the kitty rule is, you know, if a cat's on your lap, everyone has to go wait, you know, serve, right? Do whatever you need because you cannot move the cat. We put the entire broadcast on hold. Is that what we do? Exactly. It's like, I'm sorry, guys. There's a cat in my lap. It's illegal. You know, can't go to work today. It's a cat in my lap. Much like coffee. Yeah. What is this? He yeah. can't get to work either, apparently, man. He's Well, he's going to get to work in about five minutes. <laughs> but until that point, we're just going to be making command centers, apparently, and SCVs. He's just building up the exact opposite of what Oliveira was doing here, as he's going mass eco. Well, the crazy thing about this is this is an aggressive build. This is something, well, like, I guess it's not quite because this is factory. Uh, so Bjorn has a build yeah. where he goes triple command center, triple uh, triple barracks, runs across the map with a ton of bio, but delayed tech. And Coffee's not quite doing that. Uh, we have a second barracks on the way, sure, but there's no Hellions out of this. It's kind of like a TY211. Kind of? Yeah. There's a third or sorry, third gateway added into the mix right now for Firefly. We'll have to see how committed he wants to be. Uh, this is, okay, a robo facility right there on the back of it to, to complete the wall off. It's going to be helpful, I guess, in the earlier stages of this game, but if Firefly can smell exactly what's cooking on the other side of the map, uh, I think he should be able to punish this, but that's always the question, right? If we're going to see a similar build, or at least a similarly played build as we had in the previous games, Coffee should be able to get away with this, but this is certainly very greedy. It really is, and it, punishing this is weird from if you're a Firefly player. On the one hand, you can try to get aggressive and go for four gate blink or what are we at? Three gate blink is, is really what we see Firefly go on here, and that's valid, certainly, yep. but Coffee's gonna have tanks. You know, he's gonna have this, uh, I would assume bunkers eventually, he's gonna have this solid defensive force. But if this was the, the three CC three gateway, why you do need that. You do need that heavy gateway pressure because you're just, your heavy gateway production, really. So there are two different ways that you can find your way into it. It really is incumbent on Firefly to figure it out because against this build, I think the answer is you just get greedy. You know, get, you tech yourself up really quickly, go in and get your third base. Maybe, maybe, probably not, don't get a super quick fourth base, but yeah, get a decently timed third base and just like greed the hell out of it because Fire coffee's going for a seven. I, no, I guess this is six minute. This is like a six thirty stim timing based on on what's going to happen. So you got time to spare, but instead, Firefly War Prism's on the way. He's got a ton of stalkers. He's just going to try to run pell mell here into things, into a two tanks, into a decent amount of bio. I he's going to lose the observer as well. At least he knows what's up. I yeah. I don't know. I I don't know that this is the right response, Loco. 
As long as he makes a nexus here on the back of it, it should be all right, but he really does need to fire that one up pretty soon. There's now already three siege tanks available for the base defense here. Obviously, that doesn't necessarily mean that all of the angles here are going to be covered. There's the third nexus coming up, but I'm with you. I wouldn't have minded seeing that one a little bit earlier. Uh, I don't think we can stim... Oh, really? Okay. Uh, sorry, I don't think we can blink rather straight up onto that high ground from here. Not loving this position, although he is saving most of those stalkers. I wouldn't mind seeing a little hit squad of stalkers going around the site, you know, from the bottom and maybe try and pick off some of those SCVs. Like, we see players like, for example, Maxpex do all of the time, where sometimes the main bulk of the Protoss blink stalkers can't really get that much work in. But if you load four of those stalkers into a prism, you can go around the site and find an angle where the siege tanks don't quite cover it all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. ultimately, he's just losing a bunch of units here. What's wild to me as well is that Fireflies got, or excuse me, that Coffee's gotten away with that, with this without a bunker. Right? Like this feels yeah. like something. Oh, okay, Observer yeah, is gonna get out in time. I, I think we need a nerf from Observer Speed Loco because it's so frustrating as a Terran player when the Observer just barely gets out of your scan range. I think that is. This is. Maybe we need to make the model size even bigger. Okay, <laughs> increase the model size again. I need it to be the size of a Stalker. That way, I guess the movement speed isn't as relevant because it will just be within that scan range. Ooh, careful Ooh. for a longer amount of time. Yeah, I, I, I like the micro, it's really fancy. Blink and yeah. pick up, it, it's fun. But again, the fact that Coffee got away with no bunker, that he had just the tanks and was well positioned and Firefly kind of nerfed himself a little bit, right? With this third base wasn't done before six minutes. It, it is so committed and it's weird to me as well, seeing this heavy commitment out of Firefly off of three gateways. Right? If you're going to commit on two bases, generally you, you commit, you build four gateways and you have this higher production. But he just kind of middle pathed it, I guess, because you're trying to figure out exactly what your opponent's doing. And in fairness, Loco, this is a crap ton of stalkers. <laughs> We're, yeah. This is 23 stalkers against a Terran player. So what he's looking for right now is to hope and catch the Terran player as he's moving, right? So we have eight gateways at this point in time. We do also have charts done already. He hasn't really lost that many Stalkers, by the way. Only two in total. So even though a lot of them have been bruised, most of them are fine. Coffee here checking if maybe there's already a fourth Nexus coming up. At this point, he should realize that something is a little bit fishy. Okay, well, now there's enough bio done. Stimpak is finished. Combat Shields plus one. Hello, Zealot sleeping on the job. But ultimately, these Marines are going to be forced to pick up once again. Here comes the Terran army, though. And the question is, is there enough for Firefly to actually still put on pressure here after losing a lot more? 13 Stalkers actually have died now. Am I crazy for saying that I think Firefly is just kind of dead here? <laughs> I mean, like, yep. Coffee's not moving on to the other side of the map. Is this... this will go down, but it's 12 dead workers and a couple dead zealots too. Coffee's tech is so far advanced from what Firefly is doing. Firefly made his name last season on these crazy mass charge lot ideas, but he was getting upgrades. <laughs> like, he was getting a yep. force. He was getting armor. He was timing things well. Nexus, he was reading like, the game well. Yeah. No, no, happening. absolutely. Like he's he's kind of just playing three base versus three base now. And uh, in a way, it's going to be do or die with this upcoming attack here. He's not really warping in a whole lot more. He's got a load of gas in the bank too, but no real way of spending it. How in the world are you going to break this many siege tanks? I, I, there's no SimCity. So maybe you say friendly fire and maybe you say the Zealots are going to get on top of the tanks eventually. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'm huffing some massive protoscopium because there's no way any of that is true <laughs> and coffee yeah uh firefly uh that didn't look all that great coffee takes game one no that really did look a little bit almost a little bit clumsy right so like you try to go and play the mass stalker mass zealot army but we don't have upgrades we don't have a big eco on the back of it and then at the same time we're parking our army on the other side of the map and we lose about half of it as we try to retreat when terran finally comes across i mean that went wrong in a couple different ways right there for Firefly. I mean, margin for error, obviously, is still very tiny. But yeah, there were like three things there that went horribly wrong for him. And Coffee only really needed one, maybe two of those to go badly. And well, ultimately, it was a bit of a disaster. Yeah, you know, there, there's a world. I, I think what we saw Firefly do, if this was three CC, three Rex, right? That beyond build that he does quite often. I think if we see him do that, I think actually this, yeah. this looks fairly reasonable. You, you got a ton of gateway units. You're aggressive. You're picking things off. It's, it's solid. But we saw Coffee do something that was just slightly different. And all of a sudden, it's like I, Firefly thought he had the read. He thought he was really understanding what was happening. And he just kind of 
double baited himself into doing precisely the wrong thing. Sometimes you make those mistakes and the game is just over. Now, we are going to be going into Golden Aura here in game number two. Coffee making it look relatively straightforward here in game one, right? Just quick triple CC. I mean, I guess that's the biggest gamble that he took, but ever since the, the triple CC was well underway, it was smooth sailing for him for the rest of the game. And I don't think he even really intended on winning the game just yet. That's kind of the thing, right? He just kind of moved out. He wanted to secure the third base. He's like, wait a second. Let me just grab about a dozen stalkers on your way out and see how uh, how how you play from there. So I don't even think he really intended on winning the game yet, but forced his opponent to go all in. Ultimately, Coffee, well, got the one Yeah, how nice is it, so as a StarCraft player, when you just I don't intend to win the game, I just kind of accidentally got myself a one zero <laughs> in a match that allows me to qualify into the playoffs if I win. Yeah, just just casual, you know. It's uh, everyone look Loco. Here's the thing: everyone loves a little bit of coffee in the morning. That's true. I'm a big coffee uh, connoisseur myself, man. Alrighty, game number two. Top left in corner of Golden Aura. It's the man who made it look relatively straightforward in game number one. He is coffee. Bottom right in the blue, playing for offside game and looking to maybe read the game a little bit better. We're gonna have to see what happens. Anyways, he's the Protoss player. It's Firefly. It's a cool nickname, by the way. Firefly? Easily one of the coolest, well, insects, I guess? Yeah, e easily one of the coolest creatures on planet Earth. They're beetles, technically, uh, which are yeah. insects, but you know, man. They're basically Zerk units. Pretty much, I grew up, uh, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Virginia, right? So like every, not, not so much anymore, fireflies are really becoming less common, but I grew mm. up like, 15 years ago, back when I was watching Loco stream. Um, <laughs> it becomes long. It's more and more time. 20 time. years ago, back when I, I was watching Loco stream. I was like 12 years old. I couldn't even speak English. Leo was already watching me. I'm just that good. But you know, you go and you capture all the fireflies and put them in a jar and that's your nightlight. It was great. You know, back in <laughs> summer in rural Virginia. I didn't have internet at the time, but somehow I was still watching Loco stream. Yeah, uh, I don't know those how were the days, but... man. <laughs> those were the days. Did you guys have coffee, though? See, I'm not a coffee guy. Mm. Um, I, I drink tea, sure, but uh, I've never been a big coffee fan. Um, my mom, though, straight up addicted to Folgers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not even good coffee. But I think most of the world is addicted to caffeine at this point. <laughs> You know, Loco, like as a grad student, I, I th I'm pretty sure my life would be so much happier if I liked coffee. But, hmm. you know, it's not. I'm just, Do you like coffee to tear and play, though? I, I, you know, I, it remains to be seen. That was a little cheesy in game one. Yeah. Mm. There's going to be a few snippets here, a couple of Twitch clips where you literally just say, I don't like coffee, <laughs> while you're casting a coffee game and it's going to be taken way out of context. Yeah, someone's going to post it. You're, you're, you're like, based here, man. No worries. Oh, man. You're like, oh, this Bayo <laughs> guy is so biased. Actively trashing players. <laughs> yeah. What is this? First, he says he loves Firefly and they lived in Virginia or something. I don't really know what's going on. And he hates coffee. Jeez, B.O. <laughs> How dare... Like, we got a fire from the broadcast, right? Just, oh, man. There is no place in modern StarCraft to, to, to say you don't like players. Oh, horrible. I know. It's going to be a Twilight Council opener here once more. We're uh, five for five games so far of PVT today, where every single game so far has been a Twilight Council. Nobody... Like in the oracles today? No no phoenixes? No, it's uh, it's one of those things where you talk to some Protoss players, and they're going to say, look, I need some way to be consistently aggressive against the Terran. If I let the Terran just do what they want to do, their, their army in just like a straight up heads on fight is generally going to be better. So I want to be able to force them to multitask and I want them to be forced to be under duress so they can't grow as quickly as they would like, which is something that you get a little bit more out of a Twilight opener. Yeah, Oracles can get some economic damage, but you know, ever since they made an SCV 55 or 50 HP instead of 45, so it's three damage ticks from an Oracle instead of two, the economic damage, the power of that is just not mm -hmm. nearly as strong. You can't wipe out a mineral line as much. So you can go an Oracle. It gives you map control some. You have some economic damage potential, but I, I think a lot of Protoss players just don't see it as consistent as opening Twilight. No, I'm with you for sure. 
It does, it does definitely feel very delicate, right? Also, when you're trying to do that transition, if you're going mass phoenixes into, say, for example, Colossi, it is so easy to just slip up and lose the game. So, not surprised right here to see the Blink Stalker opener, but maybe a little surprised to see basically the exact same build. A couple of small variations, I guess, up to this point, but mostly the same build here from Protoss against Terran. Whereas the Terrans have been mixing it up with 17 different builds it's this time around. It's... A good old triple rex here on 2cc here for coffee he'll be adding on a starboard here i'm sure very soon that should give him a good bit of vision oh really we're gonna we're gonna sage uh, siege up right over there in the middle of the terran's base no vision available and no scan available just yet but that is always brave i mean hey look at this we got the we got the observer right here and we got the little doodad on the map that kind of looks like a siege oh, observer and the <laughs> goal was as coffee scans it kills it the thought was that Coffee is just gonna see the, the Observer doodad and be confused and not actually think the Observer's there. But I didn't even get the chance to make my horrible point before Coffee ruined it. So I, I don't know what I'm supposed to yeah. do here. Oh, this is a dicey blink. Ah, oh, that's Ooh. not good. Ow, ow. <laughs> no. Didn't even get the tank there in the end either. That's honestly, yeah, that was way too ambitious. He, well, he obviously lost vision. So maybe he hoped that that bio ball had moved into the main base, but it was hanging out on the ramp to deal with any sort of army, and now, well, Kofi is thinking, yo, I have got a lot of army. I don't have a third command center yet. Perfect moment for me to just go and test the waters. I was already planning on doing so anyways. I guess this time around, though, I'll move immediately. Stimpak and combat shields are finished. There's no plus one infantry weapons done here or whatever just yet, but this is going to be a really tough army for Firefly to hold. Yeah, Firefly now, he's adding in five additional gateways. That's useful. He, he's... Oh, oh, God, it's not... That doesn't feel good. But on top of this, right, you're trying to defend against this. <laughs> I love this from Coffee, by the way. Just understanding what kind of positions he's like. Let, let me just pull the boys. This is all I need to do. There's no charge. It's on the way now. This is going to have to be a full blink stalker hold. Firefly is down so much supply. And this is Goldenor. Yeah. He decided to go an aggressive build on Goldenor. And Coffee, he punishes him so hard for it. And now, I don't know what Firefly <laughs> is supposed to do. Keel over, die. I, look. Fireflies in the United States are starting to become more endangered. You see less and less of them. And unfortunately here in ESL Masters Asia, apparently the same thing is true. This Firefly is very, very endangered. Yeah, this is not looking good at all. This is Coffee just punishing a grave error from earlier though. Firefly blinking in, losing a bunch of stalkers for free. I mean, at least he's killing a load of SCVs, I guess, right? Because, well, they're here on the other side of the map, but they're soaking up so much damage. There we go, GG. That would have otherwise gone to the rest of that bio army. Coffee. Well, 